Good eats with Shanice coming at you one night a week. Get your eat on. Hey, everybody, get your eat on. Get your eat on, baby. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Good Eats with Shanice. I, of course, am your host for the evening, Shanice Alicia. And here we have my lovely co host. This salmon and broccoli recipe, you guys, is going to blow your mind with the amount of time it takes to prep, cook, and throw into your lunch bowl, put onto your table for your children, or just put into your stomach because you're hungry. And then, of course, the taste. It's just, whoo, y'all backstory so i came in extremely late or very early whichever one you judge by and i had to get myself together for work and get my meal prepped as well so i had some salmon thawing out and i thought to myself i have broccoli i'll throw the broccoli in a pyrex dish and then layer my salmon on top add some butter foil it down put it in the oven for about maybe 30 minutes that should cook it and by that time i'll be done showering doing my hair getting myself together and able to throw it into a tubware bowl and get on out the door y'all amazing it was just hands down something that I didn't expect to be as good as it was but to say the least I've done it maybe two or three times after that one occasion and it's just worked out so as you see the only ingredients that you'll need for this dish is of course broccoli butter and then your salmon you will need everything to season your meat to taste it's completely up to you guys y'all know how I like to rock with my Tony's my garlic and my onion powder sometimes I throw in paprika and other things like parsley Italian oregano you guys will see as I go through the seasoning process it's about 10 15 now so I'm gonna go ahead and set my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit just to get it nice and warmed up while I kind of take you guys through the seasoning process and how I'm going to lay everything out so before we hop into things you guys already know the drill thumbs it up comment down below your favorite salmon dishes slash recipes don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and tap the bell before we hop into the video because I know you'll want to be back for another and new thing that I'm adding to the list to bug you guys is go ahead and hit that share tab down below share this video with a friend co-worker family member bae whoever let's go ahead and get Shanice Alicia out here so yeah guys let's hop into the video oh hey guys it's your girl Shanice Alicia coming at you with those angles y'all already know so let's go ahead and turn on this oven light and get into seasoning our salmon I'm going to take my two fillets and I'm going to lightly lay them here in the Pyrex dish and you guys will see why I'm doing this the way that I am let's go ahead and get some housekeeping rules out of the way mind your business when it comes to my nails I get it don't be stopping pausing and talking about me I'm finna go get them done but work has to come first okay okay judge me not judge me not so first up on the list you guys already know I'm gonna go in with my Tony's Creole seasoning so I'm just going to go back and forth in that Z motion I'm only going to season the top layer of the filet because I don't eat the skin and the juices already flow down to the bottom as it cooks and now I'm gonna go in with my garlic powder and do the exact same motions to season my salmon. Next up, if you couldn't guess, is my onion powder. Same motion here. Moving in with my paprika. Put some oregano on my salmon, baby. Did someone say pause? Let pause, let pause, let pause, let to the party. We're late. However, we're accounted for. So let's go ahead and make this painless. Little parsley never hurt anyone. A lot of parsley, actually. Never hurt anyone. All right, so now... I'm just going to remove my fillets from the pan. Boy, would you look at the size of that fat salmon booty right there. I just, oh, wait, baby. 
All right, so now I'm going to take my broccoli and I'm going to just place it across my pan. Move it around just a little bit, make it do what it do. And if you need to take some of the florets and break them apart so that they lay a little bit better, this is the time to do it unless you pre-chop them before adding them into the pan. Sometimes this broccoli be big and getting out of hand, y'all. Now, what you're going to do with a stick of butter is just place your butter in areas, of course, so it will melt nicely and really give the food a lot of juice. So as you see, I did about three butter slices, not really large, just spread out across the broccoli, of course. Now I'm going to place my salmon in position. And just keep in mind, guys, you have to put foil on this. So, you know, make it move around some. So now I'm going to go in with butter, of course, on top of my salmon. And y'all know, just, you know, extra, just, just read all about it. Just put a little extra butter. Little heavy duty Reynolds wrap right here. Just gonna take this and coat it across our good old dish here. Now that I'm done playing too much, just gonna open up my oven here cause it's all nice and set. And I'm going to place my dish on the top rack. And then I'm just going to set my timer for 20 minutes. Ooh, okay, so look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Chica, chica, ah, ah, ah. Chica, chica, ah, ah, ah. I know you're not funny when you're Someone down this way, you see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hold on, hold on, you bet for me. Hold on, how you want to We say everything to me, toast to. Tell me then and tell me who. Say my name, say my name. Ooh, we got some kind of shady. That light just inspired me. Okay, anyway, um, within this 20 minutes while your food is cooking, down to 13 now because I play too much, I'm about to um, clean up the kitchen. You can do whatever it is you need to do in this time. And yeah, we'll be back when the bell buzzes. All right, bye y'all. get to it all right as you hear oven going off kitchen is clean I did a whole lot in the little 20 minutes that I had now all I'm gonna do is actually open up the oven I'm gonna pull it out I'm going to allow my salmon to get some color this is completely optional because it doesn't take a long time to cook the salmon but you want to
anyway so you want to give your salmon some color so what i'm going to do is just take the foil off and i'll show you guys what it's looking like so I'll actually pull it out so you guys can see it, but you wanna just make sure that you're browning it and giving it some color. So, this is what your dish is looking like so far. Your salmon, as you see, nice and cooked. So I'm going to leave this uncovered for the next five minutes to really get it cooking throughout. If you want to, you can add some more butter. If that's your jam, you can also put your oven on broil. If you like your foods a little more crunchy than what it actually is, I'm just going to leave it as it is, allow it to cook a little bit more for the next five minutes. Sometimes I will add a little, let's add, let's add a little butter. Shoot, let's go all out, let's go all out. Y'all, I gotta get from out this oven for my hair sweat out. Let's add some butter, shall we? You don't have to, but hell, we're here. When in Rome, no dry nothing. So I'm gonna let that go for the next five minutes or until the butter melts. It shouldn't take long at all. And then when I come back, we're gonna do a bite and I'll wrap up today's video. Did anyone say ASMR? I actually put the oven on broil and it just looks so mm -mm -mm -mm. in there, y'all. Do y'all hear me? Okay, so I think it's been five minutes and I'm gonna pull it out. All right guys, so our dish is all done. It looks amazing, smells amazing. I'm about to go in for a bite. But first, of course, you know I have to get a thumbnail. <laughs> All right guys, so thumbnail done and Mm. -mm. mm. mm, -mm. <laughs> Baby, listen at me. Listen at me. Listen. Mm. Y'all, it just be so Ooh, let me get, let me get, let me get. Mm -mm. No edits, no none of that. Look at that. Look at that. Uh oh, I'm finna drop stuff. Look, look at that. Look. Mm hmm. Mm. Look at that salmon. Can y'all see? Light too bright. Look at that salmon. Mm mm. Mm. Your broccoli, nice and crunchy. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. So well seasoned. Mm-mm. I know, it's kind of late, y'all. It's really late. Extremely late, actually. Too late for me to be doing this. That's so good. I'm gonna say the rest for later. I'm gonna say the rest for later. I'm gonna say the rest. But oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. mm. Five hours later. All right, guys. So that wraps up today's episode of Good Eats with Shanice. I hope you all enjoyed the recipe, the video, every single thing about it. Don't pay attention to my time too much. This is a recipe under 30 minutes, but of course, you know, I have to go through the motions of filming, changing up where I have the camera, make sure the angles are good, taking thumbnails. So my time does run a little differently. Set yourself a timer, get yourself ready for work, school, play, whatever, and notice how this recipe will be super easy to achieve. Like I always tell you guys, gear it towards what works best for you. You can change it down to the seasonings you use or the vegetable that you pair with the salmon. Make this recipe fun, enjoy it, it's super quick and easy. Before we hop into another salmon recipe, I just want to show you guys the basics of how to bake a good salmon. Also, your vegetable is super crunchy. You don't have to worry about your broccoli being soggy and the seasoning that 
that falls off of the fish and that was in the dish already helps to season it but if you feel like you want to add a little bit more pizzazz to your dish be my guest. All right, guys, you already know the drill. Share this video with a friend or family member from the share tab down below. Thumbs it up, comment your thoughts. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and tap the bell before you leave so you never miss another video upload from your girl. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Peace.